Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the um, week of June 28th. This week, we're going to just jump right in here, Capricorn, and we're going to take a look at what is going on for you. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Also, uh, just so everybody knows, I do not do personal readings. Uh, so, um, Again, there's a ton of scammers on social media that are pretending to be me. Uh, just so, again, please, you know, pay attention. I will never contact you for money. I will never, ever, ever contact you uh, for a personal reading or anything like that. So, again, if anyone c claiming to be me contacts you, it is not me. Uh, just so you know, Capricorn. But uh, the scamming is out of control, and Instagram doesn't take down the accounts. So, um, you know, apparently they're okay with you being scammed. But just pay attention. All my official accounts are linked down below. Uh, Capricorn, this looks like a great week. You start off with the Three of Pentacles. I kind of had a feeling I'm doing these videos on the 21st of June. And, and uh, even today, it's like one of those days where I do feel like I feel some sort of change, you know, where um, just the energy feels a little bit different. I feel, even though I might not seem like it right now, um, I feel like a little bit more awake. I feel a little bit more kind of alive. Uh, today, so I, I'm kind of noticing a difference. And again, uh, the retrograde is over tomorrow on the 22nd. So, you know, we're kind of getting to the end of the retrograde there. And um, maybe, you know, maybe that's why, maybe that's part of it. But um, it feels pretty good. I feel the reason I'm telling you is because of this right here, this judgment card. And also this Three of Pentacles, um, really, <laughs> it's kind of simple, Capricorn. The energy that I'm feeling here is just quality work. Uh, three of Pentacles is a card of doing a good job, right? It's a card of quality work. And it, it could be any area of your life. It could be love, could be business, could be health. But, you know, in a lot of ways, I feel like kind of like the quality of your work is improving. The other thing is, like, I just feel this energy of, like, motivation. And, you know, it's not like this, like, ridiculous amount of motivation where I don't think you're, like, grinding your face off. I don't think you're, you know, working a ridiculous amount, you know, till your fingers are bleeding or anything like that. But I just feel, like, a good amount of motivation here where it's, like, you're kind of just doing good work, solid amounts of work at this time. So... Uh, to me, this Nine of Pentacles with the star here at the end, it's kind of like direct results. It, it, you know, basically what direct results mean is if you put a certain amount of effort or energy into something, you're getting back, you know, at that or better. So there's kind of like, um, you know, I'm getting the sense of direct results, as, which is nice as well. Uh, I don't think we always get direct results necessarily. Um, you know, I kind of look at the universe as a bank sometimes. Maybe that's not a good way to put it, but it's like we put a certain amount of energy in. We don't necessarily get that energy right away. This can be a good thing if you know it because it's like if you just keep putting energy into the things you're working on, eventually it'll pay off, but um, we don't necessarily get direct results, and that's what I'm getting here. Uh, you have the Four Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Judgment card. Really nice energy here. Uh, number one, if you're looking for love, definitely love available to you. It's kind of funny because, you know, I just feel like for Capricorn, it's one of those things. Like, if you want it, you can go and get it. If you don't want it, that's fine too, right? <laughs> it's like, I feel, as far as love is concerned, it's like, it's there. It's available for you if you desire to have it, but some of you, I feel, maybe are like more focused on building a solid foundation here, which you have this building blocks card, Capricorn. So, you know, to me, I feel some of you maybe aren't as, you know, it, it might not be your main focus. Sometimes I think that's exactly when we get like true love in the first place, when it's not our focus, when we're not only focusing on love, when we're focused on kind of like having a solid foundation. Maybe we're only focusing on ourselves. We're focusing on our health. We're focusing on, you know, building security or, you know, whatever. It's like that's when someone can show up. And I do feel for some of you that there could be a person coming into your life here who does actually just kind of like show up maybe as a friend at first or, um, you know, an acquaintance at work or something. And that's it's kind of like come popping into my head here as just a little bit more passive, like how you meet this person. Because, again, I don't think you're actively necessarily looking for love. Some of you might be, but... You know, again, regardless of which camp you're in here, as far as love is concerned, Capricorn, I do feel like someone could be coming in for you. Uh, definitely marriage potential with the Four of Wands. Uh, for others, like I said, waking up here with this energy. Four of Wands here, you know, is Four of Wands to me is a card of freedom. I can never get this first card off the, de the table, Capricorn, but... Four of Wands to me can just represent freedom and celebration. It is a card of marriage, but to me, it can just represent being set free and, um, you know, being able to do, like, work on projects and things that you want to work on. And again, I just get, like, a waking up energy here with the uh, judgment card where some of you are just kind of, like, feeling more awake. You're feeling more alive, you know, and you're ready to kind of take action. 
Ace of Cups is kind of like our first clue in your reading that uh, of direct results. Ace of Cups' cup is overflowing. It's like saying you're taking steps. You know, I always say this bird is dropping the Eucharist into this cup, and that is what's causing the cup to overflow. There, there's a trick with the Ace of Cups. It basically says you have to take action. Because if you don't, it's the it's the accepting of this offer. It's the accepting of the cup, or it's the uh, energy that you're creating that causes this bird to drop. You know, to cause your energy to overflow. So it's like we kind of have to take action with the aces, because aces really just represent an opportunity. Uh, let's see what's going on here. You have the five of pentacles here. I do feel like some of you could be feeling a little bit lonely, um, you know, or you could be feeling like a little, like you are alone. And again, this does not only have to be love, Capricorn. This could be other areas of your life where it's just like, you know, maybe you feel like nobody understands you or nobody understands the path that you're on. Uh, this is definitely changing here. This is showing up in your past. This is your present. And you literally have this outer spirit, which says you are never alone. But I just get like this sense of, you know, feeling like people don't understand you there with that energy. Yeah, you have the Ace of, uh, Eight of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles, you showing up here. Again, you're waking up with this energy. That Eight of Swords could, um, you know, I, I kind of get like a weird message on that Eight of Swords. I feel like this Eight of Swords is saying, do not hold your energy back. Um, you know, it can be a card of, it's like a card of self-imposed restriction, but she's standing in this very shallow pool of water. It's actually just like a little puddle there, Capricorn. And it can kind of say like that, um, you know, it can kind of represent um, very shallow emotions. But again, I'm noticing the difference here. Ace of Cups to the Eight of Swords here. I feel like this is saying, talking about you being more on the, you know, on the conservative side of things. Like I feel like it's saying, don't try to hold back on something, especially if you're, um, you know, if you're working on a project or anything, really, I'm getting like, go big or go home here, Capricorn. <laughs> so uh, whatever you're doing at this time, I feel like it's time for you to go big or go home. Uh, you start off with this uh, in the next row here with this Otter Spirit. Again, it says you are never alone. So I do feel for some of you, three cups, card of community, card of surrounding yourself with people. So some of you could be kind of like socializing four cups here as well. You could be spending more time with people, uh, you know, ha ha uh, be just enjoying company, things like that. And so that's kind of like what I'm feeling here. Uh, you have the uh, King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Wands here. I do feel like this could be love coming in for you. And it could be a water sign that's coming in for you here with the King of Cups. I feel like it is someone who would be very friendly, very um, playful, fun, someone who wants to have family, things like that. So, if, you know, that's if you're looking for love with the King of Cups. I do feel like it would be like a new adventure. Um, that, that's a word, Those are the words that I'm getting on this page wants, is that this person would be something, it would be kind of more of an adventure because, again, maybe you're not looking for love. And I feel like if this person shows up, it's like you'd just be kind of seeing where things go. And, and again, I feel like those are the best relationships. Again, I talk about this all the time. I mean, basically science has proven that love at first sight is BS. So, you know, it doesn't really happen like that. It's like the longest lasting relationships, you know, they've done studies on this where like the longest lasting relationships are the ones where, you know, a person or both people get into the relationship and they're just like, eh, let's just, let's see where it goes. Let's see what happens. And, you know, where they're, they fall in love over time. So I feel, I kind of get that sense here. Like, I don't think you're disgusted by this person or anything like that. I feel like you'd be attracted to them, obviously, but I feel like you're just like, eh, let's see where it goes, you know? And that's kind of like the energy I get here, where it's kind of like something that develops. What I would say about the King of Cups energy is that the King of Cups can be like a little bit more of a reserved energy as well. They don't just like blast you with emotions right off the bat, right? They're not like all up in your face. So I feel that maybe that's why this is something that grows over time because it's like kind of something where uh, your relationship with this person would kind of have to develop. And that's, uh, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Because again, for some of you, I feel like you're more focused on other things anyway um, at this time. For some of you, I'm also getting, like, you're not sure where you want to be. Those are the words that are popping into my head, which is interesting. So it's like some of you, it's like maybe you're thinking, maybe someone comes into your life and maybe you're just like not in a place where you want to commit because you're like, uh, maybe you want to move. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe there are things you want to do, right? So I feel like for some of you, it, it's like this person kind of, or maybe it's you, right? You might be going into this person's life and they might not know where they want to be. They might be a little hesitant because maybe they want to move. Maybe they want to travel. Maybe they want to start a business and they don't, won't have time. The good news is I feel like this person will be very honest and straightforward. You know, like off, I feel like they will tell you this right off the bat. Kind of seems like, I mean, I'm getting all those like sayings popping into my head, like going along for the ride and things like that. 
And I feel like the the reason this would last forever (laughs) is because of that. Because if you meet this person and they're like that, or if you're like this and they meet you, right? Take it how it resonates. I feel like whoever, one person in this relationship is just gonna kind of go along for the ride and just enjoy it. And um, yeah, it feels really good. I like this Capricorn. You do have the Three of Swords probably worrying about past heartbreaks. So, uh, which is understandable. I feel like for some of you over like the past three years or so, you've had... um, like situations that have like proven, I'm getting the word prove it, like popping into my head, but I, I think that it's more saying that you've had, like maybe before um, getting into serious relationships, you had certain beliefs about relationships, right? And then you got into those relation into relationships and maybe you let your guard down, but every single one of those long-term relationships proved your own beliefs. Um, and get, I'm getting something about proving something to yourself here, but I feel like it's like these relationships proved certain beliefs that you had. Like maybe you believe that all people are players or maybe you believe people cheat or what, you know, whatever. It's going to be different for all of you, right? And I feel like past relationships have proven that. So I would get out of your head with the Three of Swords here. You have the uh, Hermit. I do feel, again, there is like an independent energy here. Capricorn, you go to the Three of Cups, Hermit to the Nine of Pentacles. So again, like I said, some of you might need extra alone time at this time, or some of you could be resisting working, uh, um, you know, working on a team with other people, um, you know, in business or work or anything like that. And you have the uh, High Priestess as well. Again, mystery. Again, I feel this energy of you just kind of going along for the ride. Like I said, I feel like you're more, it's like you're just like more open to see where things go. I really feel like this is in all areas of your life because Page of Wands, it can be a very adventurous energy. Page of Wands right here. So I feel this like adventurous streak um, for you here, Capricorn. And uh, this is pretty much in all areas of your life. I feel like you're kind of just gonna see where things go. And um, yeah, I I think this is a good thing, (laughs) is what I would say. Uh, Next, you have the building box card. So you're clearly building up to something. I feel like you've been doing this for a very long period of time. I feel that you've been feeling very shaky, but now it's like, I feel like you're understanding it. Again, I'm getting a lot of contradiction in your reading, which is interesting as well. Like I feel very contradictory energy, but I feel in a lot of ways, it's like you're kind of seeing how like you've been on very shaky ground, but I feel like now it's kind of like you're at a point where you're understanding that all that shakiness was to build something more stable. So I do like this energy for you. You have the Nine of Wands, the Star, and the Nine of Pentacles. Again, if you're dealing with another person with that Nine of Wands, I think you're just kind of like, um, you know, putting up certain boundaries or maybe they're putting up certain boundaries. I don't think it's a bad thing. Again, intuitively, I feel if this is a person, like, I feel like we'll come right out and tell you that they're interested, but they're not, you know, they're not looking for something serious or whatever. I feel like they will be open and honest with that nine of wands if you're attracting love into your life. Or again, if, if this could be someone approaching you and you're, and you could be the one that's being open and honest saying, I'm, I'm not sure where this is going, but whatever. So it's kind of like you're willing to see where things go. The star card is a healing. And again, you know, this could be part of it. You could be going through healing still. And the Nine of Pentacles is you kind of like taking care of yourself. I do feel some of you are trying to get into the right space before you allow someone into your life. Uh, for others, two nines. Uh, nines to me represent a couple of things. Nines to me can represent newness, starting something new. And uh, nines to me can uh, also represent kind of like needing to open up to something new as well. And I kind of get that for you here as well. It's like you're starting to see that certain things are possible here for you, Capricorn. I feel like I said this to you, like in your um, June reading and, or in your July, or no, I can't remember. I think it was the mid-June reading (laughs) and the uh, July, August, September reading as well that I did, the third quarter reading. I haven't done the July readings yet. I'm going to be, and we'll see what comes up, Capricorn. But I kind of feel like I said something about you. It's like you are starting to realize that things are possible. It's like sometimes I think people get stuck in this energy. Like I I don't really have a good example for you other than like if you've been experiencing the same thing over and over again. Like um, the best example I can give you is YouTube and sorry to talk about myself here Capricorn but even for me it's like for like years like I was stuck at like 30,000 subs or something like that and not that subs matter or anything but I was stuck and I wanted to grow and like I just kept experiencing the same thing so I thought everything was always going to be the same but what I didn't realize is I was like learning that entire time and I finally learned some things that worked right. I get that feeling for you whether it doesn't matter if it's in love, business, you know, I feel like it's really in all areas of your life because of that building blocks card Capricorn. 
that it's like you have learned quite a bit. And I, like, I feel like you need to realize that with the nine of wands. And I keep getting this message that you need to, um, and I, I've been getting this not just for you, but for pretty much everybody. That's like, you're not starting over. I keep getting those words popping into my head for pretty much every single sign. And I feel like what the universe is trying to say to you, Capricorn, is it's like, you're not starting from scratch if you're starting something new, uh, or if you're getting into a new relationship. You're starting from this place of nine of wands. Nine of wands has been through, you know, the wounded warrior has learned a lot. But the reason the nine of wands says do not give up is, is because it's like, don't throw away your experiences. You've learned a lot. You've learned how to deal with things. Now you need to use that knowledge, right? So uh, let's clarify this and that will be that, Capricorn. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, a victory. It's funny that I almost said Ace of Swords uh, over here with the Eight of Swords. So a lot of Aces in your readings, uh, in your reading. Uh, definitely a new beginning. Uh, you have the King of Wands here. You have very bold, assertive energy, and the Fool. There you go. It's like you're ready for this new uh, energy here. Uh, you're ready to take some sort of leap of faith. I would really say go big or go home. Like if you're doing something, King of Wands is a card of like nurturing something into existence, but King of Wands is a very bold, assertive energy. I do feel like this is kind of like that energy of, you know, I feel that for some of you, with that nine of wands, it's like you could be afraid to fully commit to something. Like maybe, you know, you know, I feel like you need to, remember what I was saying about contradictory energy? I feel like you need to look at your experience that you, you've had, your experiences, and say it's not gonna be the same. And what I mean by that is it's like maybe every single relationship you've been in is a disaster. So it's like now you're afraid to fully commit to a person. And I, and I feel like this is saying, don't be afraid to dive right in. This is different. You're coming from a place of experience. As long as you're listening to the things that you went through, and you're looking out for any warning signs or whatever, as long as you're being honest about what doesn't work and you fix that, then you'll then it's safe for you to dive right in is what this reading is saying. Same thing in business. It's like maybe you've been experiencing the same thing over and over again. So it's like you're just dipping your toes in the water. The problem with the uh, star card is dipping your toes in the water doesn't work. It's like we have to uh, go dive straight in, right? <laughs> we, ha we have to be willing to make the full commitment. I, I see this a lot in business, especially where people just like try something. It's like, no, 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 there's no try here. There's only you know, go big or go home. So that's what I'd say to you here, Capricorn. Pretty simple reading. Uh, it looks good though. So thank you for being here, Capricorn. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.